Even if cosmonauts follow their exercise routine, some can't cope with gravity after six months or more in space. The uh, issue of what sort of shape folks need to be in when they get to Mars is probably a bigger one than it is for low Earth orbit, in the sense that in low Earth orbit, all you have to do is come back, and if need be, they can carry off the vehicle. But when a crew is going to Mars and they arrive, they need to be in good enough shape to do real work. Rotating a spaceship to produce artificial gravity has long been considered the ideal solution to the exercise problem. The principle behind artificial gravity is a familiar experience. When a roller coaster goes around a loop, it creates centrifugal force, which presses it into the track. A rotating spaceship would also produce centrifugal force, pinning astronauts to the spaceship floor, simulating gravity. The most promising technology for counteracting the harmful effects of weightlessness was recently tested by NASA in a bed rest study. First, volunteers laid in bed with their heads tilted down, a position that caused the same problems astronauts get from zero gravity. You do, you know, have a little lower back pain, get a headache usually. I think maybe my head's a little fuzzy sometimes too from being in this position. So, kind of difficult. Fluids move up to my head, and, you know, I start to get puffy, and my nose starts getting congested. And Your uh, muscles uh, start to atrophy, and that uh, continues, and then eventually you'll start losing the bone. These tests are obviously no picnic for the people who do them. What's the surprise? It tastes good at first, but uh, getting it down past your throat gets more difficult. The object of all the inconvenience was to test a new, improved treadmill for use in space. The problem with current treadmills is that they rely on elastic straps to produce force, and elastics pull harder the farther you stretch them. If the elastic is strong enough for an astronaut to feel his normal weight when he gets on the treadmill, then the elastic will be too tight for him to lift his body up and run. So to be usable, space treadmills can only have weak elastics that produce moderate force, which limits their ability to maintain bones and muscles. The new machine uses a vacuum pump to pull the runner into the treadmill, allowing much higher forces. To simulate a workout in space, Brent Walker had to run lying down so the Earth's gravity wouldn't be a factor. Well, we're putting up the treadmill now. Okay, vacuum's on. Okay, I'll bring it up to full body weight. As the vacuum sucked air out of the chamber, Brent's feet were pulled into the treadmill. Lying sideways, yet feeling like he was standing upright and bearing his normal weight, was an odd sensation. You do get used to it, and sometimes it feels like you're, you're almost flying effortlessly. It's a very strange feeling. You do sweat, though. Because the machine is experimental, Brent was asked to rate his stress. Uh, it's a 13. 13. Okay. Heart rate's 170. Feeling your normal weight while exercising in space would be double what astronauts get from elastic straps. But the treadmill can also make you feel much heavier. Okay, Brent, I'm bringing the pressure up to one point two body weight. The harder the vacuum pulls, the more stress on Brent's bones and muscles. <laughs> well, it feels like I have a backpack on, about 30 pounds, something like that. It's just a lot heavier. Definitely uh, the stress in my lungs and my muscles a lot more. It's hard. The question is, will 40 minutes a day on this vacuum treadmill prevent bone and muscle loss during this study? I feel my, my muscles are a lot stronger. Um, they've actually, since I came into it, they've gotten a lot stronger. So I would imagine that it's gonna, it will help me. I mean, it's really difficult to, from my point of view, to know until I actually stand up. After two weeks in the bed rest study, the moment of truth arrived. Mark, set, go. 
Brent actually ran faster than before he got into bed. On your mark, get set, go. But those who didn't use the treadmill during the study, like Bill Davis, were much slower than before. I think it's just a feeling of sort of uh, weakness, of uh, not having a lot of energy or a lot of.